Hello and welcome to another episode at thefatveganchef.com. Today I'm going to make some hot chicken sandwiches. This is something that the, my mother used to make for my sisters and I as kids. I have improved on it a little bit and veganized it. It's really easy to make and it's uh, something that the kids will love and they can help you make it as well. The tools that you will need to create this dish are a cutting board and you want to put a towel underneath the cutting board to keep the cutting board from slipping. You will also need a half sheet pan or a cookie sheet, a mixing bowl and a mixing spoon, measuring cups and measuring spoons, a knife, a rubber spatula, and a brush. The ingredients that you will need to make this dish are 3 ounces of vegan cream cheese, three tablespoons of vegan butter like Earth Balance. You want to reserve one of those tablespoons to brush on the sandwiches before they go into the oven. Two cups of vegan chicken, diced. One half teaspoon of sea salt. One half teaspoon of grains of paradise or black pepper. And the grains of paradise, you can learn more about them by watching the vegan macaroni and cheese recipe at thefatveganchef.com one half teaspoon of vegan chicken or vegetable base, two tablespoons of original unflavored unsweetened vegan milk of your choice, one tablespoon of red onion diced fine, vegan crescent rolls, find the package that makes eight rolls. You'll also need a little bit of water to brush on the rolls to help seal them together. All right, let's go ahead and start making this. First thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. While your oven is preheating, what you want to do is take your cream cheese, your two ounces of margarine or butter, put these in a mixing bowl, Try to get as much of it as you can. Okay. Your vegan vegetable base. Your salt. And your black pepper or grains of paradise. And go ahead and mix that in. Get that all nice and incorporated into the cream cheese. Like so. Once you have that all incorporated, go ahead and add your, your uh, vegan milk and your red onion. Once you have all that in there, go ahead and get that all mixed in. Okay, so now you have your base. Now go ahead and add your chicken. And get that all mixed up. Now we have this mixed up. Now go ahead and just set this aside. And now what you want to do is open up your crescents. And 
just like that. And also grab your baking sheet as well. Move this over just a little bit. There we go. And what you want to do is unfold this. Just like this. You want to use two crescents per sandwich. And fold them just like that. There we go. And what you want to do is kind of get these and overlap them. And make them into a square. Kind of push them down and seal them together. And if they won't seal, that's where the water comes in. Do the same with this one. This one didn't turn out. Quite good, but it will we'll get it to work. Okay. Like I said, you'll do this all four of them. Try to get them as closely to a square as possible. we will make it easier later on. And the last one here. Okay, now that you have them all formed, do the other side. And that one's going to get a hole in it, it looks like. Okay, so now what you want to do is put half a cup of your chicken mixture into each of the sandwiches here. Just like that. And I have just a little bit. Which one? I think this one I skinched on a little bit. Okay. There we go. Now what you want to do is form little pockets and be gentle here because this will tear. You want to seal them together. And that one did tear a little bit, didn't it? Now seal them together as much as you can.
once they're sealed, put them on your ungreased baking sheet. This one's going to be a lot easier, it looks like. Yep. Maybe. Just like that. And last one. So now you have these nice little pockets. Just like that. Now what you want to do is you want to take your melted margarine and brush them so they turn nice and golden brown. And what you can do optionally if you want them to be a little bit crispy is you can take some seasoned breadcrumbs and brush these with breadcrumbs as well. And that's just optional. Alright, these are ready to go in the oven. What you want to do is bake them for 20 to 25 minutes or until they're golden brown. Mmm, these smell so good. These have been baked all the way. As you can see on some of these, I didn't seal them the way that I should have, so they opened up and spilled out. That's why you need to be really careful in getting these sealed up. And uh, use the water to get them to seal properly and after they've been baked just put them on a plate with some vegetables and you have a dinner service four I hope you enjoyed this video if you make these please uh, put in the comments how they turned out and how you liked them and thank you very much for watching the, another video at thefatveganchef.com. Stay tuned for more. And the way that you can stay tuned is by subscribing on my YouTube channel. If you like this video, please like it and share it with your friends. And have a good day. Thank you. Bye.